What's up, guys, my fellow believers? Um, when I was outside talking with God, naturally, um, he was talking to me, and I take out my dog. So my dog, Brandy, was eating something, some random bone or something on the ground. And I was like, Brandy, what are you doing? I had to force him to look away, and I'd force him up the stairs. And so that's finally when he went up the stairs. And I was like, Brandy, why are you eating random things? And then God spoke and God was like, you know, us as humans, we naturally attempt to consume random things. Just like how you got furious and angry at Brandy for eating something random. And, and you've done it before that you've had to take him away from eating those random bones. God's the same way. God's had to tell you, hey, don't do that. God's had to instruct you not to consume something that you're not supposed to consume. And so God's saying, as humans, we naturally desire to consume things. But if we consume things of the spirit and not of the flesh, if we consume things of the hope and the promises that God's given us, and not what we, we what, not what we desire, then, then not only will he be pleased, but we'll be doing his will. We'll be walking according to the spirit, according to the, the law of the spirit. We'll be walking by faith and not by sight. We'll be walking with the fruit of the spirit, you know? When we, desi when we decide to say, hey, God, I surrender my whole body to you, right? And then we say, God, lead me every single day in the spirit, right? Then, then, then you make the intention to consume things of the spirit and not of the flesh. That's that, that the transformation that will occur is, is different. And you'll start to reap the fruit of the spirit. So I pray this bless you guys and consume things of the spirit. Don't feed your flesh in Jesus name. Amen.